Hello Car Refs Daily fans, Detroit Bureau Chief Carl Malik here, and for spending some quality time this week with the 2020 Honda Civic Type R. This one here is a touring trim, and you might notice a slightly different format for this episode versus our prior two episodes in our video series. We had a blast of wet weather roll through Michigan a little earlier in the day, and that prevented us from taking our tester out to our shooting location, which is about an hour or so away from the office. So we chose to instead to shoot the Civic here in the patio of our office. As we make our way around to the back, you can see that for 2020, Honda left a lot of the exterior styling of this Type R alone. And that can be a good or bad thing. On the one hand, we always liked how athletic this iteration of Civic is, but on the other hand, there are some elements that are a bit too outlandish for our tastes. As you walk around further, you can see that a lot of the styling looks like it literally leapt off the pages of, a, of the nearest manga book. That shows here in the big rear spoiler, the roof-mounted vortex generators, as well as the triple-piped exhaust system. Now, while the system does have three outlets, only two are actually functional. The third is just there for additional sound. But we'll commend Honda designers for trying to make the Type R look really distinctly different from the Civic Si, as well as some of its other rivals. As we make our way around, we'll take a stop here at the wheels. You can see that Type R models like our tester do get trim exclusive wheels and tires, and those tires also hide a nice set of Brembo brakes. Now as we make our way to the front of the Type R, you can see that the Type R embraces a more aggressive persona than the standard Civic. And it's a nice upgrade over the spicier SI model. Now as we go our way inside the Type R, you can see that Honda designers also left the bulk of the interior largely unchanged. And that means red is the order of the day. You get it here in the front performance bucket seats, the steering wheel, as well as other splashes of interior trim that are scattered throughout the car. As we make our way inside formally and start her up, Honda made a number of minor changes to the equipment of the Type R. Adaptive cruise control and emergency braking is now standard equipment on Type R. And a neat thing for this model is that Type R gains a brand new performance logger that can use Android Auto or Apple CarPlay to help record your, dri your performance driving times and give you feedback on how you did. As we make our way to the seats, we'll say that the seats here are actually the most comfortable seats that we have ever encountered in a car of the Type R's pedigree. They are not as bolstered or as stiff as we have seen in some of its competitors, and you can really stretch out and relax here in the Type R. Now, of course, all Type R's are made to a six-speed manual gearbox, and this gearbox is perhaps the most forgiving gearbox that we have ever encountered in a performance car like this. It comes with built-in rev matching, and the rev matching makes downshifting a lot easier. It'll actually blip the, the throttle a little bit to help give you some extra revs to go in the gear more smoothly. Upshifts too are really easy, and the shifter feels great in the hands, as you can see here. The only flaw with the shifter is the material itself. It gets really, really hot when it's on the sunlight, and we've almost scorched our hands a few times getting in, getting the car in and out of gear. Type R does come with push button start. This is becoming a more common feature on many cars, and it's still very refreshing to see push button start on the Type R. It gives it a real premium feel. Now, as we open the hood of the Type R, you can see that Honda engineers thankfully left the engine alone. We'll open her up here. And you can see 
that that tendency of leaving the engine alone means that you still get a very potent two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. It makes 306 horsepower and it's a real firecracker of an engine. But unlike other engines of its breed, it does like to rev higher in the rev band to make the most out of its horsepower. So keep that in mind when blasting the Type R down a twisty road or even down freeway on ramps to make your way onto the freeway. Get the hood closed here. And the biggest part about Type R that might please enthusiasts is the pricing. Pricing for a 2020 Type R starts at about $36,000, which is not too bad for its segment. And for the 2021 model year, there's a brand new limited edition Type R that gets a number of changes over its standard cousin, including a slight shaving in weight, a higher uh, top speed, as well as other touches that truly make it stand out from the rest of the Type R family. Hopefully one day we'll be able to test that particular model, and when we do have the opportunity, we'll let you know what, what we think. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this brief video overview of the 2020 Honda Civic Type R Touring. If you have any questions about the Type R, or if you want to find out more information about a specific item that we might not have covered here today, please feel free to give us a shout out over onto our social media pages. We do keep an eye on them regularly, and we look forward to hearing your questions, as well as addressing any bits of information that you might need. Please stay tuned for our next episode when we will spend some time with the Hyundai Ionic HEV. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.